town's very busy tonight. So, my friend bought this building a while back and he's been restoring it. As you can see right here, he cut a hole through the, the floor. It's going to be a staircase going to the basement. It's actually going to be a brewery, so that's kind of interesting. Well, a lot of the flooring pieces he actually threw away in this dumpster. And he said I could have them. So, I was thinking these probably aren't useful, useful for anything, but then it occurred to me they'd be really nice for making small crates, shelves, little things like that, because they are nice little sections of flooring that fit together. So if I, if I could find some pieces that are like three or four feet long, it might be nice to even reuse some of these and make like a nice little toolbox for them. And then we have that dumpster over there, which the owner of that building, I have permission to hunt through that one, but the person who owns that building is similar to me and holds all the nice, uh, keeps all the nice stuff. So it's probably nothing nice in there. So let's jump in and hopefully fill up my trailer. So I have like, I don't know, 27 gallons of of room right there and yeah sorry it's just difficult to talk with such a busy place I'm used to filling by myself I just feel weird restoration of some of these buildings and I also like to take home stuff for uh, for using. We were throwing these away and then I realized I bet I could use these for shelves. Well I'm also friends with a lot of cops around here. A newer section. Looks like it's newer, plus it's round nails. But some sections, you can see there's actually two layers, you know, like this one. There's two layers of flooring? Or no? Oh no, it's uh, subflooring. Well, never mind, maybe these are old. If these are the original wood flooring, then this will be 125 years old, which is uh, pretty old. I can't remember when this building was made, 18, I think 18, I think the 1890s, yeah, 1890s or so. It's like a, smaller than a 2x4. It's very old, judging by the marks from the saw. You know, I'm getting kind of tired of this, so let's check the other dumpster. Oh. How, how much you need? I've got the whole back of my van. Mm, honestly, like, I come up here a lot, and like I could transport these one of these later, but I don't need anything right now. That looks like a good piece right there. Okay. See how it looks golden from here? Probably it's really golden, but you know. Yeah. So why are you holding all this stuff? Seriously, you're as bad as I am. Well, I don't hold it. I actually use it. <laughs> um, so I'm actually, in, I'm actually in the process of building a 15 foot by 20 foot workshop. Really? 18 feet tall, one, one and a half floors. So that one looks nice. 
Well, that's, well, you must, uh, have, you must have raised them wrong then. <laughs> no, but I bought an old house around the corner here. You want this? That big beam. Oh, wow. Um, you think I could get it out? I mean, I can get it out, but it's in your car. Is, the cheap, is that piece a separate piece from it, the big beam? Looks like they're like three pieces nailed together. Flip her over. I was thinking, do you want to go take a look at the, uh, yeah, sure. okay. Can you toss that in the trailer? Yep. Thanks. <sighs> have you seen those, uh, crosswalk things in Japan where they have, like, it just goes diagonal? No. <laughs> That's what we need here, because no one ever wants to go the right way. <laughs> they do need that here, though. Now the person that owns this one, he's kind of a pack rat, so he doesn't really let anything wow. good go. I see. Yeah, so. Oh, it's awful. It's that carpet, isn't it? Yeah. I think this is the one to pass on. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing here. Man, I'm just. It smells awful. It's gonna yeah. rot underneath your fingers. I'm not gonna touch that. Nope. <laughs> Yep, yeah, it was worth an inspection. Well, you have been most interesting. Have you been uh, following the the videos of the Red Rooster Progress? No, I didn't even know they had. Yeah, I've been I've been filming videos of it. For the well, past I just drive by. Or so. I work at the DMV, so I drive by constantly. You know, probably five, six times a day, and I just live around the corner. So. Oh, nice. But it's it's been pretty neat. So, what is this uh, website thing under these uh, videos? Well, if you just look at on YouTube the Red Rooster Inn, you'll you'll find oh. my yeah. It, my channel is big enough to push to the top. That was nice being a new friend. I have no idea who she was. Just uh, actually, no, I think I have seen her around, but just uh, someone else interested in, in lumber. So, quite a bit of stuff. Actually, more than I thought I'd get. Oh, I just went off the side of that. Well, never mind. All 
right, let's see if that works. This time I won't run up the side of the building because it kind of went up the edge and that's what caused it. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna put my camera away and not film this. I was trying to capture this, but uh, just if I had a GoPro, maybe. But I just don't have the control with one hand. Let's see if it fares better on this side. We're away from the the inner part of town, so now we're mostly just in the uh, the back streets. to make a proper um, connection mechanism for this trailer because when I brake really hard it just rams up against my tires. So I'm looking at all this once I got it home and you know what I kind of feel like this is a similar thing to when I found all those old growth 2x4s and I took them all and now I'm probably going to be using up all of them building my workshop and I wish I'd gotten more because there was like 20 or 30 boards that I didn't get because I thought you know what I probably have too many boards I'm probably never going to use these but now that I'm actually using them I wish I'd gotten more of them. And I bet she's in that bad of condition. There's probably a good couple square meters of still pristine wood where the tongue and the groove are still in good condition. But I bet that if I want to do a project, like what I'm thinking is there might be enough wood there to actually put, put a hardwood floor down for my loft in my workshop. So I believe Tony cut out a 16 foot by 16 foot square in that part of the building. So that's 16 feet by 16 feet of hardwood. And I only need to cover 15 feet by 8 feet loft. So if I can salvage half of the wood that came out of that building, then I'll have enough wood to actually make a nice loft. So I can I can tack it all down and I can sand it and like stain it and you know what, that might actually be really nice. Probably like plywood or something underneath it, but still. I just... Yeah, I, I feel like... I was initially just going to get a, like about this much, actually a little less. Just so I can make some small things with it, maybe make some shelves or whatever, but... Now that I'm thinking about it, I could probably even use the damaged wood. Like, for instance, the wood that's missing a piece of the, the groove or some of the tongue. Like, if I nail it down enough, it'll probably be fine. I think I'll probably go get a bunch, like, fill up my, the big trailer. Like, me and my mom will go there on the weekend and we'll just get a bunch of it. Because, at the very least, stuff's been drying for 125 years. It would make a really nice fire. So, it'd be a lot better than just letting it go to the dump. And... If I, if I can't get it to actually like be good enough for flooring, then I'm sure those broken pieces will be good enough for the shelving. Because in the workshop, I want to have just a bunch of shelving. And I bet this wood is more than sturdy enough for shelving, for holding tools and oscilloscopes and stuff. So, I'll make room for it, probably one of my white tarp sheds, and I'm just going to get a crap load of it. 
I'd like to hear your opinion though because I don't know I've I've not had much experience with hardwood so yes please let me know what you guys think and let me know if you think I should just use this for shelving if I shouldn't use it at all or if you think it would work for the workshop or whatever or you know what if I have any left over we can start using it in the attic because I imagine I imagine a lot of this is actually a very standardized shape so even though this is 125 years old I imagine that some of the newer stuff would still work with it so I could slowly collect the wood from buildings that are being torn down or renovated and then I can like even in the attic of our house I want to slowly start putting a floor down at least so we can just walk up there and it'll be nice if I could just like slowly start building out a floor as I find more and more matching wood I don't know I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching see ya I like how red that looks. It's really smart looking. That is so nice. Oh my god. Okay, I'm sold. I want it. I want all of it.